Good morning, friends. You know, yesterday I was um, messing around with that spaghetti squash that my cousin gave me. She gave me 12, 12 spaghetti squashes. So anyway, I love spaghetti squash, so I'm trying 101 ways to cook a spaghetti squash. So yesterday I kind of made a quick spaghetti squash hash brown. So today I'm trying to perfect that. So you and I are going to make this together for the first time. So in my bowl I have two cups of cooked spaghetti squash. I'm going to add in one beaten egg. So I got to thinking last night about how my mama, my mama was my Kentucky grandma. I had my mom and papa from Kentucky. And I had grandma and grandpa that were my Ohio grandparents. So anyway, I can remember making uh, potato cakes with my mama. And she would take leftover mashed potatoes, <clears throat> an egg, and flour, salt, pepper. So I was kind of playing off of that recipe. So... I've got that squash in here, one egg. So since I don't use flour, since you know that I am uh, diabetic and I'm trying to get away from flour, so I have in here two tablespoons of almond flour. If you don't have almond flour, you know what? I bet you probably won't even need it because the cheese will be such a great binder that I doubt you'll even need the almond flour, but I'm gonna try it just because I'm experimenting and sometimes the best recipes come from experimenting, right? Or they're disasters. So anyway, now I have here a cup of shredded cheese. Any kind of shredded cheese you want. It's your kitchen, it's your cheese choice. Any cheese is gonna work. This is just a Mexican blend that I had. I should have probably gotten a bigger bowl. Okay, let me get this all mixed up here. And I should have probably gotten a spoon. All right, it looks like we're getting it good there. Okay, so I'm gonna do some salt and pepper. Now, because I'm gonna eat these for breakfast, I'm gonna put a lot of seasoning in them, but let me tell you what, these would probably be good for, with like some bacon and jalapeno in them. Yesterday, I ate mine with some sour cream. Oh, they were so good. I said I was gonna save some for Mason, but I did not. I ended up eating them all for my breakfast, so. I'm going to have today these, I'm going to make these, and I'm going to have um, sausage and eggs with them. So I'm going to have sausage and eggs and hash browns. So here I've got me an onion. Now so I'm going to do this. Rasp, half an onion. I'm going to lay that on here, and I'm just going to take it across. This is going to give me that onion flavor, but without big bites of onion. that off of there there we go now by all means if you want to add chopped onion do what you want it's your kitchen do what you want okay so I think that's really all I'm going to add let me move my favorite mug here look at this head witch in charge how funny I am the head witch in charge okay so I'm going to move my stuff out I got the big gun out today I got out my electric skillet oh she's an old girl I've had for her forever. She has fried many a bluegill, many a perch. So yeah, I just thought it'd be easier for you to see. So no easy way to do this. So I'm just gonna pick it up and patty it. Listen to the sizzle. Now like I said, this would be good like um, if you're doing lower carb and you're having like if you people watch football, we are not big football people, but if you do and you have those football parties, make these up. You could probably bake them in a little muffin, mini muffin pan. Put a little jalapeno bacon in them. Kind of like a little popper to sell them. Uh, <clears throat> then serve them with like a really good sour cream recipe on the side. There's so many things you can do with spaghetti squash. If you've never ate or cook the spaghetti squash, please do it. It's delicious, it's mild flavor, it's easy to prepare, low calorie, delicious. I may not like it as much once I go through all 12 of these spaghetti squash. I did put some up in the freezer. My favorite way to eat spaghetti squash is just the old fashioned way with spaghetti sauce. It's just absolutely delicious. 
I love it more than spaghetti noodles. I've never been a pasta fan, which worked out great when I became a diabetic. But I absolutely love it. With this. Let me set this bowl aside, my sink. Washed my hands. As you can see, we've got those beets going. I'm going to let those um, go a few minutes. And let me tell you what's been going on here while these brown. Um, Mason came home for the weekend. He had to get a physical because his college fall baseball starts next month. So he went back home yesterday. Madison, um, her classes start today. This will be her last year of her um, grad school. So she teaches, um, she'll be teaching again this year, freshman, college freshman, and she teaches on, I think, Tuesdays and Thursdays this week. So she starts her own class today, and then she teaches tomorrow. So good luck, kids. Mason, this is his second week of school. Good luck, Maddie, today on your first day of class. So today we can, let's see if we can flip one here. Let's see if they're ready. I could have went a little bit longer. It's all right. I don't want to hold you up too long. I just want to give you an idea what they're going to look like. So here you can see. They're starting to brown. And here in my pan, I just had some oil. Add whatever kind of oil you use. If you use coconut, you use avocado, use lard, use bacon grease. It's up to you. I don't care. Do whatever you want to do, okay? Oh, that one looks pretty. Look at that one. You see that? Oh, they look delicious. So, that... Looks like a great recipe. I'm going to let it get a little browner. My spurtle. I can't live without my spurtle. So once again, we had two cups of cooked spaghetti squash. I added one cup of cheese of your choice. I did one beaten egg, salt, pepper, a little bit of rasp of some onion, and two tablespoons of almond flour. Now, like I said, if you don't have almond flour, it's not a big deal. Just do cheese. It'll be just fine. I'm going to have this for breakfast. Have, I was going to have this with supper or something. I would add a little bit more like garlic or something like that. But since I'm having it for breakfast, I just kept it simple. I'm going to have this with sausage and eggs. This is a low-carb alternative to hash browns. Um, so there you go. That's it. That quick. They look delicious. I'm going to eat them with some sour cream. Yummy, yummy, yummy. All right, guys. Let me know if you try these. As you know, I'm going to do a YouTube channel. So if you want to go over to my YouTube channel and check it out, I'd appreciate it. Like it, share it, whatever you do, I don't know. I don't know how all that works. I'm just here for the eats. All right, guys. Nice seeing you.